Welcome to Mastery and Guidelines in Ultrasound and Echo. Answers to question. Question 7. Calculation of left ventricular systolic pressure and left atrial pressure by knowing blood pressure and mitral regurgitation velocity. Question 7. In a patient with uh, systolic blood pressure 150 over 90 millimercury and uh, Vmax MR 5 meter per second, how much will be left ventricular peak systolic pressure and left atrial pressure? If we remember the Pascal law in mind fluid systems, the pressure in any of that system is equal and even like this pressure on any this is part of the fluid system that is confined is equal now let's see in heart in heart has two confined fluid system too uh, left side and right side in left side during systolic phase blood pressure in left ventricular is equal to the aorta and major artery including arm so if we measure blood pressure on the arm or major artery it will be equal systolic blood pressure will be equal left ventricular systolic blood uh, systolic pressure left ventricular systolic pressure so in this case systolic blood pressure is 150 so left ventricular lvsp will be 150 millimercury 2 now let's see about left atrial uh, pressure. What about that? During systole, left ventricular has a pressure that is equal to systolic blood pressure and try to push in MR blood to the left atrium. In other side, the pulmonary vein system has a pressure that push the blood to the left atrium and try to push the blood goes to the left ventricular so the left atrial pressure is against left ventricular pressure in this way with knowing these two of them we can calculate the third one uh, so in this case left atrial pressure will be systolic blood pressure or left ventricular systolic pressure minus mitral regurgitation pressure gradient and with the Bernoulli equation we know if we, we know the Vmax of MR we can calculate pressure gradient of that jet so in this case uh, MR uh, Vmax is 5 so uh, pressure gradient of MR will be 100 and systolic blood pressure is 150 the differences between them become 50 millimercury so left atrial pressure is 50 millimercury is almost very high let me put it in this simple way you remember forever imagine the blood here car as a blood and right side left ventricular and left atri left atrium at the left side so those force is against each other if we know two of these three elements the uh, pressure of the blood goes to the left atrium and this left ventricular pressure and left atrial pressure if we know two of those three elements we can calculate very easy the third one in this case if we have left ventricular pressure knowing and the uh, velocity of the blood the, uh, this two we can measure left atrial very easy and that here we calculated one uh, 50 millimercury as a left atrial in this case